I have a sneaking suspicion that there is a feature in FM23 that you've never looked at and you don't even know exists. Maybe if you do know it exists, you're not using it to its full potential. Either way, I'm hoping that today's video is going to be useful in unearthing some new information and hopefully improving your football manager experience. That sound good? Sounds very formal. I think it sounds good anyway. Let's get into it. And welcome back to the channel. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. You're a real one. If you're new here, then my name is Clayt and I make football manager videos. And in today's video, I'm hoping I can share with you something that you're going to find useful in your own saves. That's what it's all about, right? Today is all about you data analysts, you guys that love the data hub, you guys that love to delve deeper into your football manager saves and find out all of the information that is there for you. And Football Manager is a game of information. It's a game of data. There is plenty if you go looking for it. If this sounds like something interesting and you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. And at the end of it, if you find it useful, make sure you do leave a like. Leave me those comments as well if this is something that you did not know exists. That's what I'm looking for here. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe you all knew that this was a thing and, and I'm completely out of the loop here. But I feel like some of you are going to be like, oh, wow, I didn't know you could do that. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Let's jump into a save file. Here we are, look, in my Newcastle save. In this save here, we have just won the league. We've won the Champions League. We've been quite successful. We've built this squad here. It's, I mean, it's pretty good, isn't it? We've got Bellingham and Rice. Kane playing in behind the strikers. A shadow striker has been great in that role. We've got ball playing defenders at the back. We've got the man, the myth, the legend that is Shelley here. If you know, you know. If you don't know, then... To be honest, don't get so angry. It's just, it's Andreas Schalderup. We turned him into a right back, okay? It just works. He, We won the Champions League with him there. Anyway, that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about some analysis that you can do using some player reports. We know about the data hub. You know about all the great information you can get from here. But did you know that if you click onto an individual player, you can actually go and get a load of new information or analysis going to this tab here called reports. Fairly self-explanatory so far, right? I'm sure that at this point, there's no new information. But did you know, if you go to analysis here, this screen appears. Now, be honest, if you've never bothered to look at this screen, let me know in the comments down below. If this is something that you look at and think, eh, I don't need that. Fair enough. I don't think I've really looked at it at all in this save. Most of it was, in fact, all of it was done over on, on stream. We don't look at analysis and data all that much in my Twitch streams. Maybe we should do more. It is really, really interesting. I've been playing around with this screen here and I've realized that this could be so useful for your saves. When you're tactic building, when you're trying to work out where things are going right, when you're trying to work out where things are going wrong, especially, this could be so useful. I've clicked onto then Scalvini, who is my right-sided central defender and I want my central defenders to be ball playing defenders. I want them to get the ball from the goalkeeper. I want them to be playing out from the back and starting our attacks from the defense. I want to be very pep, very clop, playing it around at the back, as most tactics these days seem to want to be for most top level teams. Scalvini then, I want to make sure is not losing the ball on a regular basis. So I might go here on this screen and go to his passes. If I, first of all, in fact, what you need to do here is you need to select a match. We're going to analyze a match that he's played in recently. Scalvini started at right center back in the Champions League final for me. We beat PSG. It was, I think, 3-1. In fact, what was the score in that final? I'm trying to remember now. It was 4-0. I mean, even better. We won 4-0 in this final. Scalvini dropped a 7.5. Not bad at all from him in that Champions League final, meaning he was starting some good attacks from the back. He's passing was good. So if I select that Champions League final, I can then go to these tabs on the left-hand side. I've got shots, passes, crosses, aerial challenges. I might want to be comparing players here. Where are they? How many aerial challenges are they winning? I want a dominant centre-back who's going to win their headers. This could be useful at this, at this stage. What I want to look at, first of all, is his passes. Is he keeping the ball? How many of his passes are completed. He did 35 of them. If you click on them, you can see all of them here. Now this in itself, you can see, okay, he's picking the ball up and he's managing to pass successfully. What I'm more interested in is really which of his passes are unsuccessful. What's happening to make him not successfully pass the ball to his teammates? Because that's what I want him to be doing. I might now 
look at this and think, okay, when he's picking the ball up high up the pitch, he's giving the ball away. I'm actually looking here. He's only lost the ball three times or given it away three times, which is fair enough. I mean, he lost possession nine times, but not from passes necessarily. Three unsuccessful passes. I might look and, stay and think, okay, maybe it's because he's on the wrong side. Maybe I need to play him the other side. Maybe I need to not play him as a ball playing defender. All of these things are going into your tactic building. This is why I'm showing you this screen. But did you know, not only does this screen exist, but did you know that if you hover over these little markers here on the on the pitch map over here, not only can you see where it happened, but you can see exactly what happened in the 3D match engine. You have the highlight, which is now we've got Neymar taking a free kick. At some point here, Scalvini, that has been counted. That header away there has been counted as an unsuccessful pass. So you can think, okay, actually... I'm not too upset about that. He's It was a header more than an, an unsuccessful pass, wasn't it? Let's have a look at his other one at the top here as we watch this highlight as well. This is, again, through his defending. Messi's got a free kick. He's going to be headed away, I think, by Scalvini there. That's been counted as an unsuccessful pass. We know that he was successful in this game. We won it 4-0. We know that he's got a 7.5 rating. I'm thinking, okay, do you know what? There's nothing to worry about there. Those unsuccessful passes not to worry about. You might want to go and look at other things like where did he give fouls away? Did he give a he only gave one foul away in the entire match? It was here. Look, let's watch it. 23rd minute as we watch the highlight here. Neymar picks it up. Neymar gets away from him. He chases him and that was the foul there. Bellingham picked up the ball, but it was given as a foul. The, the, the way that you utilize this and use it in your saves is going to be up to you, isn't it? How are you going to make this useful for you? But I think in terms of your tactic building and maybe between choosing between players, maybe I'm thinking about replacing Scalvini in the team with somebody like Antonio Silva. Maybe at this stage, I go into his reports and his analysis and choose a game that he played in and have a look at how did he do with his passing? I just wait for this to load up. Look, with Silva playing the same role and playing in the same position, I might look at actually how many passes does he give away he's only had one unsuccessful pass let's see if actually is he is he going to be a better option or a worse option than scalvini i'm going to probably suggest probably a worse option that was his unsuccessful pass now that actually can create a chance for the opposition there because that was supposed to be a pass that looks worse than scalvini's one doesn't it the other things here that you want to go and have a look through are maybe the the, the chances the mistakes and things you can go and break down all of these different places here all of these different subheadings along the outside look and you can see so many different different options to learn about your players in more detail not just from watching the match engine especially if you're somebody who plays on key highlights you're missing out on loads of what's happening in that match engine and i get it because you want to get through the game right but there's so much you can learn another player that i might look for as he's so important in my my system is harry kane playing as a shadow striker i want him to be creating chances i want him to score chances too i want him really to be probably the most important player in this system right in behind the strikers i might go and have a look at is am i using him in the best role here could i change it by going to his analysis looking at how he played in different games in this psg game where did he create those scoring chances he created zero clear-cut chances and two half chances or maybe not created but he had two half chances to score himself this one here look was a half chance to score what was his movement? Was it the right role for him? I think it's when it, I think I know this highlight. It's when he bounces back, he hits the bar. Look, I can learn from it. I'm, I'm having more information given to me by the game and I'm seeing it in the match engine, which I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I'm, I've completely misread this. Maybe you guys knew about this, but I feel like this is a feature that is greatly underappreciated and underused in fm23 i wanted to showcase it to you i wanted to get your get your opinions let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this as a system how would this be made better do did you know about it first and foremost and um yeah i wanted to share it with you so hopefully this has been useful hopefully you've enjoyed this if you have enjoyed it leave a like on the video and maybe subscribe to the channel with more things like this any ideas by the way of what you want me to talk about more maybe something else that is maybe undervalued in in our game here let me know in the comments too but most importantly most importantly have a lovely rest of your day thank you for watching today i'll see you next time Bye bye